Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 2nd of April. India slams China over Arunachal, says assigning invented names won't alter reality. Pakistan's integrity can only be guaranteed by stopping military establishment, says Altaf Hussain. And Taliban denounces US drone surveillance over Afghanistan. And now for all the details. India on Tuesday slammed China over renaming of places in Arunachal Pradesh and said assigning invented names would not alter the reality as the northeastern state will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. China has recently released a list of 30 places in Arunachal Pradesh in a bid to assert its claim over India's northeastern state. Rejecting Beijing's action, India's foreign ministry, spokesperson Randhir Jaswal said China has persisted with senseless attempts to rename places in the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh. However, it will not alter the reality. Earlier on Monday, India's foreign minister S.J. Shankar had said changing names does not have an effect. If today I change the name of your house, will it become mine? Jai Shankar questioned in a dig at Beijing. Following Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the northeastern border state, China had stepped up its claim over Arunachal Pradesh. New Delhi, however, has repeatedly rebuffed such attempts by Beijing. And in a sharp attack, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar has given a strong message to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau led Canada government over alleged involvement of anti-Indian elements in national politics. Jay Shankar during an event said that the problem with Canada is that it has raised such critical thinking and powers in their country that it is not only a problematic to India but to the country itself. He further expressed disbelief that how can a country provide safe haven to terrorists and also give space in their politics. Relations between New Delhi and Ottawa have turned sour since last year after Trudeau linked India with the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijar. It followed a tit-for-tat expulsions of diplomats by both the countries, further deteriorating the situation. Moving on. The Pakistan police on Monday arrested 12 suspects in connection with a suicide bombing incident last week that killed five Chinese workers and their Pakistani driver in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The detainees were not only directly involved in the attack, but they helped those who orchestrated the bombing targeting the Chinese, reports have suggested. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif, while visiting the Chinese engineers at the Dasu hydropower project site, assured full-proof security measures for them and resolved to ensure exemplary punishments for the perpetrators. No group has so far claimed responsibility for the terror attack. However, the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Counter-Terrorism Department has blamed the banned tehreek taliban Pakistan for the assault. Meanwhile, the founder-leader of Pakistan's MQM, Altaf Hussain, has said Pakistan can only be saved from doom by stopping the military establishment from interfering in political and economic affairs. Our report. Altaf Hussain, the founder of Mutahida Kwami movement, MQM, has said that Pakistan's integrity can only be guaranteed by stopping military establishment from indulging in political and economic affairs, otherwise the country would not be able to survive. His comments came over recent accusations by six high court judges of attempted coercion and intimidation by officials of military spy agency ISI to influence the outcome of legal cases related to jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Puri Pakistani Qaum, tumne itna bada inkishaf, jo Altaf Hussain 45 saal se keh raha hai, Imran Khan keh rahe hai. اس پہ یقین نہیں کیا جب ججوں نے وہ بھی ہائی کورٹ اسلام آباد کے کیپٹل کے دار الخلافہ کے دا 
दारुल खिलाफा का हाई कोर्ट उसके जजों ने जब कहा कि आईएसआई कहती है फैसला इसको रिहा करो उसको अंदर करो उसको बाहर निकालो इसको फला को अंदर करो फला के हक का हक में फैसला जा रहा है उसके खिलाफ फैसला दो और जो हकदार है उसको उसको मुजरिम बना दो ये क्या कर रही है आईएसआई Altaf Hussain who lives in exile in London has been a vocal critic of Pakistan's military and its rights violations. He said just like Imran Khan he was also falsely implicated in cases and called a traitor for exposing the army. Moving on. Taliban spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid on Monday slammed the United States for operating surveillance drones over Afghanistan and said such actions are in violation of Afghanistan's sovereignty. We consider it a violation. This is a blatant violation of international law and airspace. It should be stopped and we condemn it. Mujahid was quoted as saying by Tolo News. He added if such flights continue, a decision will be taken by the de facto authorities in response. While Mujahid did not specify the provinces where the surveillance was likely done, local media has reported the presence of drones in Kandhar, Badakhsha, Kunar and Panjshir over the past few days. The reports suggested such actions by the US are being done for intelligence and recognizance purposes amid reports of resurgence of al-Qaeda in Taliban ruled Afghanistan. The Taliban, which seized power in 2021 after the withdrawal of U.S. forces, has also been accused by its neighbor Pakistan of harboring terror groups, which Islamabad says conduct terror attacks in its territories. However, the Taliban denies the accusation. And the World Bank raised its forecast for Sri Lanka's economy on Tuesday, projecting growth of 2.2 percent for 2024. as the crisis hit nation makes a faster than expected recovery from its worst financial crisis in decades sri lanka secured a 2.9 billion dollars imf bailout in march last year which has helped it temper inflation and rebuild foreign exchange reserves while prices have eased off recently the world bank estimates the poverty rate in sri lanka will remain above 22% until 2026 It was about 26% in 2023 the World Bank said. Meanwhile the report states that overall South Asia excluding Afghanistan was expected to grow 6.1% in 2025 remaining the fastest growing region in the world for the next 2 years with India's expected growth rate of 6.6% for fiscal year 2025 leading the way. Scores of Hindu devotees on Tuesday offered prayers and took a holy dip in River Ganga in India's Prayagraj on the occasion of Shitla Ashtami. The festival dedicated to Goddess Shitla is celebrated in the lunar month of Chaitra and holds an immense religious significance among Hindus. Since it is a period of weather shift, there are many changes that occur and the weather can lead to various illness and infections. On this occasion, the devotees pray to Goddess Shitla to seek blessings and protection against infectious ailments including from smallpox. Aaj se Tlashtami ki puja hai. Hamari mannat bhi thi. Usko hum pura karne ke liye yahan aaye hain aur aaj ke din hum log bahut acha faldai mante hain ki Ganga Mai ka snan karna bahut faldai hota hai. Mata hai ki aaj jo hai Maa Shitla ki puja hoti hai. Aaj unhe jo hai isi karan se thande ya basi bhog basi khan bhojan ka bhog lagaya jata hai. ताकि शीतला माता जो हैं वो क्रोध में न हो शांत रहें और उनका पूजन करते हैं उनका पूजन करके पुण्य का भागी बनते हैं तो इसलिए आज हम लोग गंगा स्नान कर रहे हैं और उसके बाद माँ शीतला की पूजा अर्चन करके और पुण्य के भागी बने Breaking news and views from India.